what's up guys welcome back to our channel we're here with another banger where we do the board remember guys please subscribe to our channel watch all our video watch the video to the end turn on the post notification bell so whenever we drop a video you guys can be notified all right and remember to subscribe to our channel and we are back with another video what's the video is about anyway guys stay tuned all right guys so yeah we're back we're back but remember so subscribe to each other everybody will subscribe to each other already we really appreciate it we actually there what 410 subscribers as we say um we wrote to a thousand subscribers so please help forget to a thousand subscribers all right so as you see the video you know click on the video you know watch all of the video on the like the video and you know, comment on the video and then you know, subscribe to the channel all right please. all right so in this video we're going to talk about um the the labor day um, experience my, my labor day experience um, <coughs> in the united states i went to the um parade and Stadium. thing yeah the west indian parade wow. yeah um for the first time and yeah so they will ask me okay have you ever went to any carnival like in jamaica or barbados i never went to any carnival in jamaica in barbados um i'm not gonna say i went to the carnival but like the march like them pass through um the majority of barbados like just like what you see just like what happened here mm -hmm. them mark them come through with the different different bands and everything it's basically the same thing in barbados with the carnival and different different costume and everything so i would say yeah i see it before but no uh different environment and it's basically the same thing to see different different um, <coughs> countries from around the world and everything so uh yeah so how was your experience the experience was pretty good and we only go there with one intention just to get some videos and then come back home because we know anyway crowded a lot of bullshit will happen and bullshit happen but we never even talk about that yet but um it was good the sunday hot and everything and <coughs> uh it was really good to see um all of the west indian people come together and them you know them different different costumes they're representing their countries and everything who will have them flag of uh, some courage with Theron and peace or whatever them just representing the caribbean countries and to me i see mostly nangalai i see mostly not because i'm jamaican but i see mostly jamaican mm. people like i see a lot of jamaican flags i mean i've seen a mixture of all of them but um mm. yeah. but it was good though and yeah it was my first time to the period and looking forward to um <coughs> come but it was good That's all. yeah i mean i felt like the parade was nice all well, the carnival but like the bands were nice the costumes were nice people were just having fun that's how it should be but and had a lot of police was there it's not always that but i feel like it was nice for me going not going there for like ages to be honest i don't know when last i went there but probably the last one one day was with my sister and that was before I even moved here, like way before. So I don't know the like the year, but probably way before probably twenty eighteen. Mm -hmm. Or a little bit less than that. But I'm not really a fan of it because it's always something going on. It's too much crowd. And then it's just too much. Sorry guys, I just overall i think it was nice the bands they did a nice job like the djs did a nice job i mean you get to see all the caribbean country like all the west indians there are a lot of haitian there to be honest they always come with their band like thing but i feel like overall 
you had a mixture of like Guyanese, Jamaican, Trinidad. I see some Trinidad people, but I didn't really see as much. Probably because the area of war. But with, I definitely see a lot of Jamaicans, Guyanese, and like just a mixture. Yeah, I was like, more. <clears throat> but overall, I think it was nice, but it was just too hot. The sun was just yeah, the sun blazing. Was just it was just sitting on you like anywhere you go it's just like the sun is sitting right so, there and a lot of people was there people passing they started to walk touching up on you and everything so that's one of the reasons i've never really like it people just bouncing up on you and everything best thing if you're not really into crowds you can't really go to stuff like that yeah so we also got here um get the experience you get some video clippings um we'll post it on the channel here you get good attraction 1.3 thousand people watch it so yeah that's good and um a lot of crazy things have been there too like you want to talk about that i mean it's the same thing happening every year there's always somebody shooting everywhere crowded and killing people for shooting. no reason to be honest but it's not new to me it's kind of new to him but for me it's not new because like i said i used to go and it's like if you're in the middle of the crowds and somebody want to do some BS, everybody keep running. If you run and you stumble and fall, you're getting tumbled. Like you're getting stomped on. There's no way you thing. And so when you in the middle, just know how to run. Don't even trip. But it's just to me, it's been the same thing. It's every year. You can never like go ahead and enjoy yourself. Have a good time. I'm like the carnival should be where you enjoy yourself, you dance, you laugh. You meet people, you don't meet people, but you see like your community, like uh, Westinian people just coming together and just having fun. But it can never be like that. So that's one reason why I never used to really go anymore because you go, you can't really have fun. And I'm like, I don't run. I don't like running. <laughs> so it's like me running ain't gonna make no sense. Yeah, and you know the crazy part? As we leave, I don't know how long after we leave. And my mom and sister, like. Right. So, <clears throat> as we leave there, we get home. But then shortly after, um, my mom, mom and, sister. and sister get home, and then maybe ten to fifteen minutes after. You look on your phone and we you see, see um, some videos on my phone. Like it just just happened. It live because some, so, like, yeah. some the person them catch it live on camera, the shooting and the shooting happened. And you see and police just like police are all pushing over the, the place. gates now. Yeah, because it's ridiculous. It's like you go out and there's kids out there too. There's kids in the yeah, van. We see a lot of kids. There's kids we everywhere. See a lot of kids. So it's like you bring your kids out to enjoy the carnival, but it's like. You don't even know when the bullet's gonna come fly and reach anyone. So it's, it's kinda crazy. crazy. It's, it's so crazy that like, my mind was telling me like just get all oh my Yeah, he was like, I'm ready, like we walked down from where we were, like a block over from where we walked up to Eastern Parkway and I was gonna go look for my mom and sister, but by the time we go look where they were, we couldn't even see them because the crowd was just it was just people everywhere and then the sun was beaming and after a while he was like you ready and I'm we ready. just walk home i mean it was a good walk but we just walk home but you know everybody don't leave even though the parade's finished people still on the corner or yeah. they go to whatever but it's i think the the shooting happened a little bit more over from us like on eastern park we went more over <clears throat> but it's still sad because it's like you could be visiting from a different country and you get killed you visit family just to the carnival and you just get killed like we don't know i think what was it like five people got shot five people yeah and two yeah, died. five people got shot and two or four people got shot and two died something like that no i think it's five five or, or and then, yeah two um, died two died but they only sh i think they only show one of the person that died which was a young guy i think no but the other person, I don't know who it is, but the other people that's been shot and still living, they have to live with that shit. Like, and I don't feel like they're, they're gonna go back to any more parties. I wouldn't even go. And the thing is, people still would go to the I next parade again. Yeah. Next next year when it comes, they'll still go. But it's always somebody. And I'm like, out of all this crowd, I'm like, cause the crowd, when we left, it was the last band mm -hmm. that was playing. So it's like, people started to walk. 
so I'm like if it was a little bit farther than the way we were whatever a few blocks over but it's like how nobody seen this man pull out a gun and just start flying bullets exactly. like I'm not saying you have to whatever but it's like he's in a crowd and he's around people how you guys don't see him like pull out a gun and nobody I don't know some people duck because I think a lady was saying she was in the news she was like I ducked because she's something something but she could have died too she said she was like close to death but she ducked because whatever it was I guess but it's like nobody's thinking like oh somebody's gonna come shoot even if your ops are outside we don't care this is my first experience on the last because I didn't <clears throat> go and I only went to take you that was it I don't really go there I haven't went I still wouldn't go because it's to me it's like whatever I can just go somewhere else or just stay home and vibe because it don't make sense going to a crowd and then you never know it could be your last day like in every crowd not just the, the party alone. yeah any general so crowd something might happen during a time scare and so like it's just remember the other time <coughs> when you tell you that um what something was happening I don't remember where it was and some junk guy just running some group of people and kill them. It's some hard. some period. I don't remember what was it. Was it the LGBTQ? LGBTQ. Something like that. They they they. I, LGBT, I think they were. Yeah, they period. Something like but that. That's Maybe the thing. one of them like, period. You can never enjoy yourself. I'm like, it doesn't even matter if you don't like gay people or don't like transgender or whatever. I don't give you the right to even go do anything about that. Just. Let them be free. Go away. If they're not bothering you, I feel like it don't make sense to even intervene. But I feel like people in the world, they just wake up and I don't know what be in their brain to just go and kill people. But I feel like if you're going to do that, you might as well just kill yourself first. And just not in other people's life. Because you literally kill a lot of people for no reason. Mm. And some of them don't get to live like <clears throat> and some other crazy thing too. The life and the school shooting. Exactly. School you might can imagine you preparing your son or your daughter from the summer to go back to school in September. Right? And then the first day of school is a shooting happened. Right. Well, since I but like and I think what they have in Jamaica too, um, we hear about it, the the mother that crashed with the son, the Monday, the, the Monday morning when back to school, yeah, condo and school, she crashed. yeah, crashed the car. Why? She just do a thing or just... No, she was driving an accident. accident. Yeah, she meets in an accident, so condo and school, the... Both of them? Yeah. Mm. So condo and school, the... Um, the family and everything. No, only the son died, the mother don't die. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna haunt her for life. And the school shooting, this fourteen year old and we have in Georgia, this fourteen year old um killed what? I think two kids four? and two teachers. Yeah. Two fourteen year old boy child. Yeah. And a female teacher and a male, male teacher. teacher. How much get injured? I don't think I got injured. They just said whoever died, they showed. I don't know if they showed anybody else that got injured. Oh. But they showed the people that passed away, which is sad. It's like, how those so mom are gonna, how those kids' mom gonna feel that they just send their kids back to but school? But my thing is, like, we when get come from, <coughs> and my just fourteen years old. Father. They said his father, babe, this skin tone gave him a gun, which is ridiculous. But I don't know. I feel like I've been saying this for a long time. I feel like people need to not bully people in school because you never know what they're going to do. I'm not saying you should just go air out to school, but like whatever you do to people, children, do not bully them. Leave them alone. Let them be. Not because you want to be popular in school or something or... You feel like you're big. Let's leave them alone. Because it's like, we don't know what's the backstory to him. I'm not saying it's a good reason to kill people. But it's like, with bullying, a lot of people do that nonsense. And then people get fed up with that shit. Sometimes they'll kill themselves. Or they'll go kill people randomly in the school. Yeah. 
and it's sad because it's like now the mom <clears throat> of the two kids they can't see them no more they're 14 they couldn't even live to see 15 because that kid and then that kid is alive he should not be alive i'm sorry to say but the greatest thing in father get arrested too because but still they they're he dead. Is a minor there's like so. two four people dead because of this kid and you just gave your kid a gun for what reason <clears throat> you could have told your kid a whole different scenario whatever it is because it's like he know what was going to happen and you send your kid to school knowingly there's other public um it's a public school mm -hmm. even if it's a private school but it's still it's a school where other kids go to so it's like you're sending your son with a gun that belongs to you and should not be even be touched like you know what's going to happen so it's like he didn't have no remorse to what he did and i feel like him getting locked up don't mean nothing like they're still alive while these two kids plus the two elder people older people the adults their family have to mourn them and they're still alive in jail it don't make sense to me but i just feel like people really need to stop bullying people kids in school because they do crazy thing when they're up to a point where you're bullied because people feel like it's okay to just bully people and just say whatever because they're either quiet or something so i just feel like just don't bully people because i've been seeing all these stuff on even tiktok where people are just losing their kids to bullies i think it was a girl i don't know if you ever heard of her but it was a girl and four girls were bullying her and she got up to the point where she killed herself and she left a note to her mom but her mom didn't find that in time before she killed herself so she basically couldn't take it anymore because they were bullying her and she killed herself and then even on tiktok her mom was trying to just like show um i just basically post about her daughter like greed whatever and it's like the moms from the other kids one of them like took her to court say that she needs to stop posting this and this i'm like it's ridiculous like your daughters are young yeah. the same age as that girl and you're gonna tell me that you're gonna give them the right to keep bullying her even though she passed away they want to say sorry no it's too late a mom is grieving a daughter but i don't know i just feel like the world we live in is evil yeah, it's very easy i could just be <clears throat> Um, look out your eye like everybody you want to know there just keep vigilant look out your eye because at any moment anything can happen you just keep safe to be your own friend <laughs> to be your own friend I have, that, I, have, I have <laughs> that I have that experience when you kill the guy over chicken yeah I have that his own friend it's crazy so it's like yeah I know what's friends about um, I don't really I know what friend I know what friend is about so like I just keep my grounds and so you're a bad experience. So yeah I have a bad experience. Mm -hmm. We don't talk about that still so that old story. But yeah, yeah guys, um just this so wanna share with you guys and if you like it we can uh, leave a comment on the video. Subscribe to the channel, please subscribe to the channel we want to reach 1k subscribers alright <coughs> so you just subscribe to the channel turn on post notification bell so whenever we drop a video we can be notified alright and grow to 1k subscribers so anything you want to say just be aware of your surrounding be aware of the people you hang around be aware of the people you say things to and just be aware of your crowds don't go everywhere crowd is and you don't have to always be outside to have a good time yeah can be inside you can have a good time Rocky. anywhere especially if you have like a good friend a close friend and a good partner whatever it is you can do different stuff in the house where you don't always have to be outside because outside is Crazy. not good like random people would just be doing stuff to you and I already had my fair share of stuff but yeah just be aware and be safe once again just like comment share and subscribe it's just very free yeah. we out bye Come make it on now. <laughs> no come, come you have a screenshot of the party. 
Oh. Is it me? How are you gonna pee and screenshot it? Oh. <laughs> Baby. <laughs>